Hello everybody and thanks for coming to science class today. I apologize for not being here as I'm over at the high school judging a science fair. So I thought to leave you a pretty straightforward activity on momentum as well as a hands-on activity on acceleration. So first things first, when you come in, you're going to find some questions on a Bill Nye video of momentum. Please help your guest teacher to get the video running. It's shown on a website. There are three parts to the video and you should be able to get through all three parts while you're in class. It shouldn't be much more than 25 minutes. Alright, so when questions are done on momentum, take your paper, please put it into the clear tray on the period to which your class is assigned, and then head into the next activity, which is B6. So, B6, merrily we roll along. You want to make sure, not B4 or B5, instead go to B6. So, merrily we roll along. You're being asked to go and create an inclined plane, which you'll notice has been done for you as all the desks have some type of angle put onto them. They've also been given an interval of 25 centimeters. At which point, on the back side of your paper, you need to collect some data. We've got distance for uh, 25 centimeters, 50, 75, 100, 125, and then 150, which is at the very end, 150. So. You'll also notice that there are a total of four time trials. So you want to record this, the time it takes for the ball to roll down 25 centimeters four times. And then you're going to find an average over here to the side. So please have the average, just create a uh, continuing, uh, continue column over here for finding the average. Again, calculators are in the back by the uh, wind turbines back there. At which point, uh, a small suggestion as it's explained in the instructions, and please do read the instructions, but it's explained that one person in your group is going to be doing the timing, and one person is going to be responsible for releasing the ball. And it, re it recommends holding the ball back at the starting line with a pen or a pencil. So that when your partner says go, you can very quickly remove the ball or remove the pen and let it travel the known distance that you're trying to record. In this case, that would have been 150 centimeters. So that would be the last column right here, the last box, trial number one. So again, 25, 50, 75. 100, 125, and 150 is our distances. You need to record those times, four time trials, and an average. And then at which point, that should see you to about the end of the class. If you are done with uh, collecting your data, you can start creating a graph. Um, do your best to come up with the scale that works most appropriately. I'll leave the graph paper out, but if need be, it's over in the second drawer on the side of the room. So. Folks, I hope you have a great day today. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you on Monday. And uh, please, complete respect for the guest teacher. And uh, have a good one. Talk, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.